child grabs air and it starts breathing. Well, you just, just imagine for nine months you've been in your mother's womb and you are just there in this position and you're in a warm, comfortable, cozy place developing your consciousness and developing your body. And upon your entrance to the world, which is a tough thing to go through this tube, through the vagina of the mother, and it's really stressful for the mother and the child, upon this entrance from this place that you've been for nine months, which has been very warm and cozy and comforting, you're entering into the third dimension, you're entering into this world, and the first thing they do is they turn you upside down and they slap you in your butt or on your feet. So this is already being traumatized. It's a major trauma after nine months of being in this warm, cozy, safe place. And upon your entrance, you're being violated in that way. And then after that, okay, they clean you up and uh, they hand you to your mom. Hopefully, if she's conscious. So then you get to, your hearts get to touch each other. And you, so you get this imprint of violence, of being hit, traumatized. Then you get this other imprint of connection with the mommy, and it's love. Then, I don't know if right away or later on you get to suck on your mom's tit to get some milk. And also at times you're being left out and put in your your bed and you experience the sense of being left out and being abandoned. Now if you're a boy, in a week or two weeks after that you get sim circumcised. So let's look at this. And let's look at the connections of what happens, these early imprints that happen in the child's life and how they relate to each other and how they're forming and how it has formed this dimension that we're living in based on what? It's very interesting when you look at it and you bring your attention to it because you enter into this dimension and you get traumatized. Then you get connected to your mom's heart. So then you experience love. Then you get to breastfeed. Okay, so then you get to be left out, be put somewhere. And you know, in the modern world, if you were born in a hospital, they separate you from the mom. Maybe they, maybe you're born a little bit early or whatever it is, and they take you to the uh, children's hospital or section that you need to be taken care of or whatever is the story. So you're already separated from your mom. You've been with her for, for nine months. So you're born, you get traumatized, you get separated from her. You're being put somewhere with a bunch of other kids. So you already experience abandonment as an imprint on your psyche. Then you get mutilated. So now they're going to cut your penis. And uh, you get circumcised. And then you're being returned to your mom and you get to suck on her tits. Do you see this connection? And then what happens as you are growing up, you're associating violence, being violated, to your, what? With love, with comfort, with sexuality, and being violated. These are all imprints. Imagine that you're 
You are born, you get slapped in your butt, so you breed, and then they, they may put you with your mom and you're sucking on her tit. So what kind of imprint is that? And look at your relationships when you're living with your partner and look at it across the world that couples get in a fight, argument, or maybe they hit each other. And what did they do most of the time after they beat each other or they hit each other or they argue? They make up by making love, going to bed and touching each other and making love. What most men do, what's their major attraction to tits? Why tits is such a big thing for them and it's comforting. It's when you look at these things, you can connect the dots with each other. That how much violence is connected to love in our psyche and to sexuality. The stuff we learned in the first few weeks that we entered into this world, how they're connected to each other. Look at their connection. And the confusion that happens in the psyche of a child of being violated and then being connected to her mom, then being taken over, then being brought back. Now she can be breastfed, then being taken away. So these are all imprints that are taking place in the psyche of a newborn into this dimension. Then you may wonder, why is the world fucked up? Why people or leaders or whatever, people who come to power, why they're so crooked? Why they're so screwed up? Why they do for the things they do? Is this making sense? I'm hoping I'm putting some light on this darkness or this shadow, this thing that is kind of like wondering why upon the entrance we're already screwed up. As if you just absolutely have no chance to win. And it's pretty amazing that somehow through what goes on upon the entrance in the first few weeks or first few months of your life, it's amazing how still some people come out right and they're not totally damaged. So this transaction is happening and on top of this transaction to top it off, you know what else happens? You get vaccinated. This child that came to the world and it's only a few months old and it's developing its immune system gets vaccinated. Poof! Oh my God! It's another major shock. No wonder that the number of autistic children is increasing and if you do some kind of investigation, the autism started right after they got vaccinated. So that's another shock that is being given to the kids on top of all these other shocks.